This Happy New Year. is a tour of our home gym. Yeah. Hustle and love. Hustle and love. It's cut off a little bit. You made this for my Christmas present. Yeah. So what it says is every day is a choice. No anniversary. Oh, anniversary. Every day is a choice to create your best self. And it, it's pretty cool that we put it on this wall because when I'm working out facing this way, I get to see it. Yeah, that's true. When I'm true. facing this way, I still see it. Good point. So we're going to give you the grand tour. Also trying to Wait, walk. I want to explain what they represent. Oh. So the reason why we have these flags in here because we were looking at inspiration of other gyms that put flags and stuff. And so it would be cool to have something inspirational. Also, it represents that um, you created this gym not only for yourself but for us to work out because I was like not 100% for it in the beginning. And then, but you showed me like the magic of the home gym and now I really love it. And I think this is a really good um, like representation of us too. Like we hustle and we love, we work together, now we can work out. Yeah, that's what it represents. So yeah. That's cool. I'm going to bring that emotional content <laughs> to your physical stuff. Okay, good. Ahead. That's good, that's good. <laughs> so we're going to be focusing on our squat group rack. Uh, we originally got this uh, for free um, from my cousin John. It was sitting in his garage. His neighbor gave it to him for free and he wasn't able to set it up. It's been like two years, so I was like, hey, I'll take it off your hands because uh, at that time I was thinking of building the home gym. Yeah, it's a centerpiece for sure. And there's so many things that you can do uh, with a squat rack. Even though it's really simple too. Yeah, I feel like it's good enough. And that's good enough, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Got your pull-up bar here, which is great. We got these two pegs here, as well as two pegs in the front. Yeah, we normally squat here, and then I'll set up these two J, uh, J bars right here. J or J hooks for um, bench pressing, incline, decline. What, what do you normally like to do here? Other than squatting, overhead press, squat, bench, dead. Um, I also use it as a nice means of, it's, this is really great if you're in rehab like myself, like you have chronic injuries and you need to work some stuff out. Here's some really cool stuff like um, to warm out like face pulls or um, cross body for boxing or even a tricep pull down like this, or you can do it like, like this way, right? Or for, this is a, a lesser known one, like hip immobility. And then I always saw this on YouTube, and I'm like, what are they doing? That doesn't look like anything. And so I have an imbalance in my hip, like this, this one's higher. And so I need to work out both muscles on both sides. So you, you pull it to tension, and then you just do this little thing like this. Oh, wow. And it like works the hips so much. So I'll do like 20 of these on each side. And then also too, it's really nice if you want to do just like um, kicking drills. You use this as support and, and kick and, and all that stuff. So it's nice to just have a frame. Yeah. Remember that stretching frame in 24? Yeah. That was uh, pretty cage. cool. It was like a stretching yeah. cage. So I, I... Another thing is uh, always paying attention to our form. So we set up mirrors. Yeah, these are just regular bathroom mirrors that we found in Home Depot. And we set up another mirror over here uh, for um, other activities like yoga or using our TRX bands. A cool piece that um, I've been wanting for a long time was the Bowflex uh, dumbbells as well as switch weights on the fly. The highest weight for this type of model is uh, 52.5 pounds and it goes all the way down to five pounds. So if you're doing like a lot of hit training uh, and you just want to move through different weights, it, it's great. Uh, another cool piece that we got uh, for the dumbbells, um, it's a good combo along with the Bowflex, knowing that you can switch the weights is the kettle grip. Uh, it, it's plastic, but it does the job um, because you can travel with it and you can um, basically put it on any dumbbell. Like if you're staying at a hotel, you can latch it on as well. So you can do the rows, uh -huh. uh, you can do the wood chop. You can go from here to like that. Oh. So it's working your obliques, but it's cool. So the weight is not even moving. Uh, there's a really good bone in between that, that holds the handle really well. Um, but it's plastic, so these things run about $30. Um, it's better than spending $80 for her. I mean, there's advantage to the real kettlebell because they're less bulky than holding dumbbell, but hey, if it 
there's more pros than there are cons. Other nifty things that we got here is the deadlift wedge. Another cool piece we picked up is the, uh, the barbell from PTE Equipment. We got the barbell as well as these mats on um, what Thanksgiving week, but they're about 110 pounds each. And measuring the size of our garage, it's about a 20 by 10. So we needed eight of them. And since they are so heavy and thick, they're basically recycled tires. Uh, the only way to cut them, or the only tool that we had at the time was a dull uh, box cutter. Um, it took us about an hour and a half to lay everything down, but since they're so heavy, they don't move around that much. And they're great for, especially uh, for inside your garage, because if you're dropping weights or you're doing deadlifts, it won't crack your concrete. And then we also got uh, the bumper plates to help cushion up uh, your drops when you're lifting. Uh, these are the X trainers, or trainer. And, and these, Lock yeah, lock tights. All right, mm -hmm. then now you can use your wedge, put it right under each side, roll it over, and now it elevates the bar so you're able to add more weight. Just like that. Cool. So the BOSU ball, there's many like different purposes that you could do with it. Um, from like just doing hit training, like for example, up, up, down, down type of hits. And normally I'll do intervals of like 20 seconds of like high intensity to a 10 second rest in between for a total of four minutes. And usually it, re it increases your heart rate. Uh, in return, you're burning more calories. Like I'm burning right now. <laughs> and push-ups with these, you have to kind of use more of your core because of how you're balancing on the ball. And in conjunction with that, I'm using our TRX band. So here's the example of like an atomic push-up with a BOSU. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Oh. So yeah, that's <laughs> the magic of the BOSU. BOSU to you. <laughs> <laughs> Other cool things that I really like about low row. So you can go this low. <laughs> and then that. Oh, yeah. This mirror is handy. Uh, other things you can do flies, chest flies, like that. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, you can do leg curls. So to do leg curls, uh, you want your feet together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're gonna lift up Whoa. your hips and then you're doing leg curls. Ooh. You ever track your legs Ooh. back? Yeah. It's like a reverse crunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. And plus, you have to uh, be a little bit far back because oh. you're, you're like, ah. oh. it hurts, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people will do mountain climbers with the Bosu ball, but you can also do more intense mountain climbers with the TRX band. For 40 seconds if you can. 40 seconds? As hard as you can. It's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> Our other cool tool is the slam ball. Here, able to do squat and then slam it. Squat, slam it. Or what other people do is they slam it side to side to work their obliques. Like that. Cool. cool. Should I talk now? Yeah. Check it out, this is my corner. Here's my yoga pad. Screw these little, uh, uh, they're kind of like J-hooks, which is really nice and handy to hold all your crap. You get knee sleeves, my um, lifting belt basically, uh, punching gloves, they're actually sparring gloves, so they're a little bit more lightweight. Resistance bands, kick target, and some more resistance bands. So that's my little corner. And then we also have our TV that we got um, used for 65 bucks. And we just installed it so you can just stream uh, YouTube and I watch my yoga on here and I do my yoga over there. And um, we have our Theragun here also. A lot of haters of the Theragun, but I think, <laughs> I think because it costs so much, but uh, 
I've been using this consistently for probably uh, maybe 10 months now, just as a recovery tool. So after every workout, because I'm rehabilitating a lot of injury, um, I'll still do my foam roller, I'll still do my lacrosse ball stuff. Um, and then as just like a bow on top, this guy. All this crap used to be on the floor. <laughs> Not on the floor, but like in racks. Until we lifted it, we didn't get all this real estate to have our gym. So actually we had a handyman come in and install this. Uh, this. I think my theory is our drywall is so thick for whatever reason, he couldn't find any studs. So instead of taking about an hour, he took like six hours <laughs> to install this guy. Same thing on the other side. But he got through it and we were really patient and kind about it. And we we're just like, please just do it because like we didn't have to do it. And then we have our lightweights over here, good for rehab. Um, just basically use these to tone and train specific smaller muscles that you wouldn't get with the bigger compound movements like dumbbells and uh, barbells and all that stuff. That is a dumbbell, I meant barbell. Yeah. Oh, you're the bike. This is my bike. No, the other one. <laughs> okay, let me take you to the hardest thing I've ever tried. <laughs> this is the Airdyne Pro. I was like, man, this looks slick. We also got this used for um, 700 bucks. 600. 600 bucks, that's pretty cool. Already assembled, so that's great. I think uh, if you're that adds an extra hundred. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like we didn't have to do anything. That's great. Yeah. You know, it's basically a mechanical exercise. You've got a car belt in here. Mm -hmm. uh, turning this blade that fans the crap out of your eyes. So you do like two minutes of this for me anyway, and I'm good. I actually go for ten now. I'll just put on some JK News and bike away. It doesn't take up that much space, but if we didn't have this guy here, which kind of ended up with, even though Chi like didn't really want it, but was stuck with. Um, <laughs> we were like, let's just make the most of it, all right? So we have this here and it's just a, it's a pull up bar, it's a dip station. You can also use it for uh, some crunch, crunch work and core work. Provides a frame for this nifty little tool, which is called the Inertia Wave. I never use this, it's hard. <laughs> But anyway, it's like, a, it's basically a modified battle rope that doesn't take up all the space. Foam rolling stuff, accessories, we have our landmine attachment here, which is awesome. I use this actually. So you just plop this guy into, a, into one of the heavier uh, plates. You put in your barbell here, screw it in, and then you do little landmine exercises. Uh, we have our, our my boxing, Double end leather precision bag. Yeah, that's what it's called. Conveniently located right under this garage thing. And you just hook it in like that, and then boom, it's ready to go. These are um, quick draws from our climbing days, but um, I would recommend getting a chain. And then this is just a, a sandbag that we filled with uh, peat gravel. The fact that it moves a little bit with you and it's not like a super dead weight, like I can lift it, I think is a good thing. So it's it's nice that this is not a heavy bag. It's not supposed to be like, you know, doing this, like stuff like that, but it's more like precision and stamina. It's also good for kicking too. Can't really show you that right now. <laughs> so if you don't like on my, in my program, you could bike or I could just punch and kick. Talk a little bit about that. Okay, switch. <laughs> like heavy lifting, mm -hmm. uh, I'll use the belt for, uh, mainly for squatting. Mm -hmm. um, but the cool belt that I really like, with chains. Mm -hmm. So what it does is if you're able to do 10 pull-ups without any rest for two sets, then it's time to increase your weight. So, and it had more weight. Wow, it's all up in your crotch. Yeah. <laughs> now when you're doing a pull-up, it's going to feel about 10 pounds heavier. That's good. Increases. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I did that earlier. You can add your dips. Dips. Along with these 10 pound plates. And you can add up to like... Oh, oh, so many. Having fun now. <laughs> there 
go. <laughs> So the cool thing about uh, this bench is that um, it allows you to have it go all the way up versus like just a flat bench. Uh, you're able to utilize it for arm curls, uh, decline uh, bench press, and decline dumbbell press. So for hip training, the best app that I uh, recommend is called Seconds. Uh, with seconds, you're able to uh, customize your own hit workout, uh, and it will actually speak to you. Yeah. Push-ups. Yeah. Push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and that will tell you your rest. Push-ups. Do as many intervals as you want within uh, a certain time frame. Yeah. So that's one app that I use. I also use Rep Count. Uh, to document um, my progress and basically for strength exercising so you can just write everything within the app as well as how many sets for that particular workout and also the next time you do it in the following week or every other day it will keep track of those weights. Oh the total cost of the gym is about $2,500. Uh, it would have been about $3,000 if we had to buy this rack. Wow. Well thank you for yeah. visiting our home gym. And uh, we will see you next time. Later. Bye. Bye.